Graze, rest, regenerate, repeat. That is the motto of Good Life Grass Farms, located in Newton County near Pierce City, Missouri. Located within the Shoal Creek watershed of Southwest Missouri, the majority of landscape in this watershed is grassland. The state of Missouri is made up of approximately 10.5 million acres of pasture, which represents about 24% of Missouri's landscape. How pastures are managed can have positive or negative impacts on Missouri's land and water resources. At Good Life Grass Farms, a rotational grazing system, including fencing cattle out of the stream, providing watering systems, utilizing sheep for weed control, and moving livestock between paddocks is used to raise quality meat, save on operating expenses, and increase the ecosystem health of both land and water. Adam Bowman, the owner and operator of Good Life Grass Farms, explains his farm operation. So on this farm, when we, when we bought it, it was three big fields of about 40 acres of beans. Overgrazed, abused, the creek was abused, the stream banks were you know, beaten down. All the manure paddies were underneath trees. You know, they weren't out in the field. So mm -hmm. when we came in, we worked with NRCS, the Soil and Water District. Um, we divided the, the property into 21 paddocks. So, you know, we put up interior fencing. We fenced out the stream, which, you know, is a lot, it's a lot easier for me to find babies in the spring like this because we just finished calving. But uh, keeps keeps the cattle out of the stream. We did a, a water pipeline of about a mile all the way through the property. So each one of those 21 paddocks has its own uh, water tank that feeds it. Actually, they all, they all, they split down a fence so they feed two different fields. But so by doing that, you know, the, the big things are manure management. So the, the, cat, the cattle are not spending tons of time in the woods or down by the creek. The manure, the urine's going, you know, back up, out into the field. But, but the biggest thing with, you know, doing BMPs like that on a property, this is about 100 acres, is, is you grow so much more grass for your animals. At the end of the day, by rotating our cattle through those paddocks, we're, we're growing a lot more grass through the season and, and we're stockpiling grass four times that we need it later. So I'll be stockpiling, like this field here, we'll have them in here for two days and they're gonna eat about half the grass. Uh, then we're going to move them on. So then I, I'm leaving that grass. I'm stockpiling it here for 40 days from now. Um, when we could be in a drought, it, it's hard to say. Uh, same thing in the in the fall as we're rotating through those fields. We're building a stockpile of grass behind us so we can graze well into the winter. Last year it was like the first week of January when we really started feeding hay. So you know, your bottom line is you're saving a lot of money on hay. We're not feeding near as much hay as you would if you if you didn't have a rotational grazing system set up. But also, huge thing on your financial side of things is we don't ever fertilize. So you mean you see the grass here? But when I first bought the property, we put down a little bit of chicken litter four years ago. But I, I will never fertilize again. At our other farm, I've been been grazing there for 12 years. Same thing. We put down fertilizer the first year, but after that, we've never fertilized. So. So you're growing more grass and you're spending less money, no money on fertilizer. So it's a huge win-win and it all comes about by those BMPs, the, in the interior fencing, the watering systems that, that allows you to rotate, not overgraze, leave plants behind that have root depth that can reach down, get that water once it gets dry where other fields that were grazed off really low would not be able to reach down for that water they wouldn't the soil wouldn't be holding as much water so in june and july these cool season grass fields will still be growing a lot of grass where a, con a conventional continuously grazed field that was short didn't have much organic matter in the soil you know it's going to dry up and your grass is going to stop growing pretty early but we can just push on through, produce a lot more grass through the summer, and, and even you know uh, warm season grasses and stuff too are gonna do a lot better with that, having the rest, having more water available to them. In management intensive rotational grazing systems, around 60% of the forage grown is often utilized, while in a continuous grazing system, only 30% of the forage grown is utilized. 
Therefore, sometimes farmers can double their stocking rates when they switch to a rotational grazing system. Use of rotational grazing provides more grass for forage for longer in the season, integrates manure management, and improves soil moisture management, which reduces the need for costly fertilizer and hay, and provides more resilience in times of too much or too little rainfall.